control, let's go with another flow. Ain't your average entertainment show. More than entertainment than what's on the screen. Connecting dots on what you see. Have you ever wondered how it all began? The idea, how they started the plan. XX actors, the whole team. Mad props to those behind the scene. Why did the person get into the biz? Something inside when they were a kid. Who helped them out when they wanted to quit? What about the fam that gave them rocks to kick? How all the haters, they left shaming alone. Find out in the entertainment zone. With Paul Amadeus Lane. It's a real thing. Intro, let's go with another flow. Ain't your average entertainment show More than entertainment than what's on the screen Connecting dots on what you see Welcome to this edition of the Entertainment Zone I am Paul Amadeus Lane Thank you, thank you, thank you Big shout out to our friends over at ABC News Radio KMET Our friends at HollywoodNewsSource.com If you're checking us out on, on YouTube What up? Great to have you with us today Guess what? Our topic is for today's show. I'm going to give you a little hint. You ready? Did you get it? Did you guess it? It's all about the 9-9. Brooklyn 9-9. Wow. One of my favorite shows. I remember when uh, six years ago, this is sixth season now, uh, my wife set it up on DVR. Someone set this up. I was like, oh, I don't want to watch this. But I am so glad that I did because I've always been a big uh, Andre uh, Brower fan. I uh, loved him in, in the Homicide, Life on the Street. I uh, loved him in the Tuskegee Airmen. And I'm also a huge uh, Andy uh, uh, Somberg fan, too. Loved him on Saturday Night Live, uh, Lonely Island, <laughs> Jack Sparrow. <laughs> yeah, and you know the other ones out there, too, the songs uh, that they have out there. So I am so glad that I watched that show Love it, love Terry Crews, love the whole cast, and so I have an opportunity to talk to a number of them about what to expect uh, for next season, and if you're like me, if you're a fan of the show, when it got canceled from Fox, I was so happy that NBC picked it up, because to me, it always felt like an NBC property. It just didn't fit Fox to me. I always thought it felt like an NBC show, and when it went over there, it's doing great, and I'm so glad that NBC uh, picked it up. All right, so you ready to talk to uh, two of the stars of the show first? All right, let's talk to Andy Somberg and Melissa Fumero. You know them as Jake Peralta and Amy Santiago slash Peralta now. So let's talk about uh, their characters and uh, just the amazing ride that they've been on. I love the show. Thank you. And I'm glad that we shipped you guys to a marriage. Yeah. So, how has the ride been for both of you guys? Amazing. We we have so much fun every day making the show, and we truly love the show, the the scripts, and working together. And so, it's like a dream job situation. Yeah. Ditto. It turned out better than I ever could have imagined. And so, Andy, will we see some Doug Judy uh, this season? I mean, we've done one every year so far, so I am hoping so that we don't break the streak. Um, as with many things, it depends on schedule. We'll beg Craig, and hopefully it'll work out for him, but he's our guy, so fingers crossed. What's been the most coolest part of, of playing cops? <laughs> oh, man. The, like, action sequences. Like, I, I love doing that stuff. I think it's always really fun. When I got to jump over a car in a wedding dress, I was like, this is dope, mm. what I'm doing today was at work. <laughs> For me, it's getting to pretend like my brain works really fast and, and well in, like, a crime-solving capacity. Because, <laughs> you know, there's something so, like, um, satisfying on, like, a little kid level of, like, and the clue here and the this and the that and sort of cracking it all and getting to run off fast monologues that make it seem like I'm way smarter than I am. <laughs> Melissa is so sweet in person. I'm telling you, just that, that bubbly smile and her and Andy opening up about their characters. And I'm glad we, the fans, shipped them into a marriage. And that's what I'm talking about. We can, you know, we got that power. Use that power of the Twitter. Tell the producers we want them together and they will make it so in the words of Jean-Luc Picard. All right, when we get back. Let's find out what boils and 
uh, Sergeant Terry Jeffers is going to be up too, uh, coming up uh, in the next season, and uh, and much more. So we'll be right back here, Entertainment Zone, Paul Amadeus Lane. We'll be right back.